Hi there. I guess by this time, you recognize this as a storyboard for one of our Woody Woodpecker cartoons. Of course, the storyboard is just a rough idea of what the finished picture will be like. It's a series of drawings that have to be brought to life. Oh, uh, that shouldn't be hard. Oh, well, maybe it shouldn't, Woody, but it's a lot of work. After the director has timed his picture, he goes over the storyboard with the animators who will work on it. He explains the story in detail and the personality of the characters. Then he gives each animator a portion of the story to animate. This is what they have to work with. The storyboard tells the story. The model chart shows special features of the characters. The layout is a drawing of the stage setting in which the action takes place. The exposure sheet gives us a complete description of everything we're supposed to see and hear. On this one, the scene opens with Woody in a chair. The kids come in and the little girl says, Uncle Woody, tell us a story. It takes one, two, three, four, ten drawings for the word uncle. Then Woody starts here and ends here. Tell us a story. And so on. When the animator starts to bring the story to life, he puts the layout drawing on the top pegs of the drawing board and the character drawings on the bottom pegs. That's so the background can be moved to give the impression that the figure is moving. When the first drawing is finished, the animator places a second sheet of paper on the pegs and makes his second drawing. By flipping the drawing as he works, the animator can tell whether the action from one drawing to the next will be smooth. The faster he flips, the faster the action becomes. If two characters are working in the same scene, they're often drawn on separate sheets of paper. The animator actually makes only the key drawings in a scene. For example, if not Head and Splinter are walking, the animator would draw them in the starting position and at the end of the walk. He would indicate the number of drawings he wanted in between. Then he turns his key drawings over to his assistant to complete. When the drawings are completed, the animator flips through them to determine whether the action moves smoothly. When the animator is satisfied with the drawings, they're checked by the director before going to the camera department. On one of these shows, We'll follow along and see what happens to them there.